I'm meteorologist Bella Grace here with your extended forecast. Things are heating up out there for us. We are going to see these temperatures continue to rise. We're already in this above average range with our temperatures. That's only going to compound as we go later on into the week. You can see a lot of that heat really building across Arkansas and Oklahoma and not letting up. We'll get a brief little cool down slightly and then things are right back to their very warm temperatures by the end of the week. We are seeing that roll into the weekend as well. We can take a look at our temperatures. We're pushing into the mid 80s in the in northwest Arkansas. Rather, we're seeing that on Wednesday, Wednesday, a high of about 85. That is well above our seasonal average. We're actually going to be pushing closer to record temperatures for this time of the year. It's supposed to be fall cooling down. Even once we get a little cold front to come through Wednesday into Thursday and drop our temperatures down, we're still seeing mid 70s. That's right around our average for this time of the year. October's average about 74. So we're still slightly above that and climbing as we go into the later portion of the week. We have a chance to see another little cool down come Sunday. A little disturbance might be coming in and bringing a few showers our way. The further out we look, we're crossing our fingers, hoping for that. A lot of that moisture coming in from our south. We'll get a better look at that in just a couple of minutes for right now. We're seeing upper 80s in uh, the River Valley for that Wednesday, trying to press closer to 90 degrees for a few of us. So very hot out there and building in a little bit more moisture to make it comfortable. That's also going to lead to some warmer mornings for us, slightly above average. We're going to drop back down to the 80s on Thursday, climb to the mid 80s from there before we see lower 80s. Once again, a little bit of a roller coaster for us. Good news on the drought front. We do have a few chances for rain here and there. Best chance on Tuesday for northwest Arkansas. A little bit of a chance Thursday into Friday but most of us are going to stay dry. Even these little showers, they're not gonna be enough to really help out with that drought, but any little bit of rain that we can get is one step closer to being not quite so dry to lessening these drought effects. So we'll take what we can get. You can see how that moisture is going to start building in as we wait for a little bit of a front off over Oklahoma and Texas to move our way towards Arkansas and it'll take its sweet time. That's why we're seeing that about 10 to 20 percent chance of rain on Tuesday morning. That's coming with this increase in moisture, all of that coming in from the Gulf and we're going to be pulling it our way. That's going to help to heat things up, but it's also going to help to increase our chances of getting some rain. Our main issue for the past couple of weeks has been that we've just been so dry. We've had high pressure sitting over us. Us. That cool, cool, uh, moist air hasn't been really popping up, so our cold fronts have been uh, the drier variety. Now, once we have a little bit more moisture, we can stir a few things up. Hopefully, that leads to some heavier showers. For right now, though, we're not looking at anything higher than about 20% chances. We're seeing that mostly in northwest Arkansas on the very early morning hours of Tuesday. We're seeing about 10% across the River Valley, a few of those could pop up here and there. Warm air overall taking over. You can see how that's starting to inch a little further north, kind of wander the Midwest before it pulls back. We're looking at a little bit relief uh, further out. We're seeing that build up over our Northwest around Tuesday, starting to trek its way our direction throughout the week. By the end of the week or early weekend, we're hoping that'll start to move in. You can see how that uh, cold front is trying to move our way. Could bring a few showers uh, into our area around Thursday to Friday. Uh, Tuesday, we have that 20% chance of some very light sprinkles. Better chance possibly on Tuesday. We still have a little bit of disagreement of, on whether or not that low pressure disturbance will be enough to pop off a few of these showers uh, early Friday morning. This outlook is pretty good with those showers. We're seeing that again on Sunday, favoring a little bit more rain. So we're taking this with a grain of salt. This is about 10 or seven days out from now, eight days out rather, because it's Sunday. Um, 
we are going to see a little bit of that cooler air come with that low pressure. Could see some showers moving in. Hopefully gonna be a little bit more widespread. Here's another look at what we could be seeing, a different model rather. And we are going to see that move in a few very isolated showers. You can see how that's really trying to avoid us here in five country. That's because on Tuesday, we're not gonna have as much of that moisture coming in. A lot of the moisture is going to roll in on Wednesday. So staying a little bit more dry, which means very isolated showers that could pop up here and there, majority of us going to stay on, on the drier side. As we look forward into the week, we could see a few spotty showers. A majority of those, this model has us showing it a little bit further west. If we can get a little bit of that high pressure to move off to our east, that could allow for these showers to move over us. Hopefully crossing our fingers that that can happen so we can see a few more of those rain chances. We'll definitely see a sprinkle or two on Friday. Not much to help with our drought conditions, but but every little bit counts. Overall, we're gonna be feeling really warm and dry. Unfortunately, we're not looking at a big swath of rain like we were hoping for the end of October. We do have hope. We are seeing little bits of rain here and there, which will help to compound over time to help us out with these dry conditions. Just not the big swath of rain that we really need. So drought conditions likely to continue to worsen until we see some really good heavy rain that'll sit over us. Hopefully the start of November, we're gonna start to see more of those showers work in. We're looking at temperatures to rise a little bit into the week. Like I said, if we take that 10 day look out, we are seeing things settle back into the 70s for a majority of next, the end of next week, the weekend, and early in the week after. We can see that about 10 to 20% chance of showers sneaking in on Tuesday and Wednesday. We're hoping that that will be a little bit heavier, but it's so far out, it's hard to tell exactly how heavy those showers are going to be. That looks like our best bet. Until then, we're seeing a smattering of about 20 to 10% chances on Tuesday, again, Thursday into Friday, possibly Sunday as we see another little front move in. That's going to bring mostly a few clouds into our area that Sunday into Monday. And you can see those building into the middle of the week because temperatures, though they're starting to cool, are staying relatively consistent in those high 70s. In the River Valley, we're going to see more of the 80s, especially throughout the week. We're really not expecting to drop below those 80s. Even if we get a few more of those showers and clouds on Thursday and Friday, it's not until that uh, Sunday into Monday cold front comes in and we get to the cool down a little bit more about that 20% chance once again, Tuesday into Wednesday. So we're hoping for a little bit more rain to start off our November, but we've got plenty of time until we move in. The end of the month is looking a little bit rainier for us.